Hello friends, 858 days of war between Russia and Ukraine. In southern war zone, there have not been many changes like in Kharsov direction where counter battery and counter UAV actions are taking place between the two armies. As far as Japurizia front is concerned, Russians have made some small gains towards northeast of Rabatino and also in Rabotin from eastern side. Rimivka salient positional battle continuing along with medium and small range artillery fire exchanges. In east on Marinka front Russian army advance eastern outskirts of Konstantinivka from north of Paraskovivka. Zorzivka and Krasnohorivka, the situation is as before. Coming to Avdivka front, in north of it, Russian army took over Sokol and entered Yevzenovka, which is east of Voskhod. In southern part of Avdivka, Russian army advanced towards Siolovka first from southeast of Umansky and also between Umansky and Novopokrovsky. On other fronts, by Laz, the Russian offensive operations continue. On Toretsk front, Russian army broke through Ukrainian's defense line of Pivnik, or which earlier name was Leninsky, and offensive operation continues towards Kirov, where it made some gains on the outskirts and also offensive operation continuing west of Druzba. Bakhmut Chasivyar, Russians made gains between south of Kalinovka and northeast of the city. As far as southern flank is concerned, no changes since some time now. North of Soledar, that is Siversk sector, Russians captured north and western trenches of Rozdolivka. No changes towards Vimki or other direction. Northeast Ukraine, that is eastern part of Kharkiv, Russians made good gains towards east of Nevsky and also towards north of Torsky. As far as Kupian Swato regions are concerned, positional battle continuing. As far as north of Kharkov, that is Slobozansky direction, there are no changes towards Vovachansk as well as towards Lipsty direction. Heavy positional battle continuing from both the sides using artillery as well as air power. Interdiction missions. Ukrainians attacked Tivor, Crimea with UAVs, missiles and no damages reported so far. While Russian army struck many targets in Ukraine, one is a railway station in Zaporizhia with Iskander missile, as it seems a loading of foreign arms and nominations were being done. Palestine-Israel Middle East in North Gaza Strip, IDF continues its al zodaida operations. While in southern Gaza, it expanded control zone in the coastal Al Mawali area. West Bank routine raids by the Israeli security forces continuing, while on the border of Lebanon, the counter attack with the rockets, UAVs, etc., continuing between IDF and Hezbollah. The war escalation seems to be imminent, but however, nothing can be forecast for sure. In Red Seas, Houthis attack another three vessels with missiles and UAVs uh, as well as USV. French far right looks headed for victory after first round of the polls. By the way, what is the difference left between the far right and the center and left of the center. Not much. Look what is happening in USA. 
as well as in UK and most of the other countries. By and large, no great changes except the faces. Well, mankind is moving in some particular direction where the control over the present as well as of the future is minimum as far as the humans or the social intelligentsia is concerned. And that's all for the day. Thank you, friends.